All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just going to do a quick uh, review on the Valencia Tuscany home theater seats. I've had them for about six months now. Uh, so I'll just tell you what I think about them and um, how they're holding up, any issues I've had. And uh, just, like I said, a quick review for anybody that's interested in buying some theater seating. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, same shirt, same day, different angle. I did a different angle with the camera to make it more interesting. So it's the basically my short Valencia seating review. I have the um, Valencia, Valencia. I'm not editing it, but it's fine. Um, the Valencia Tuscany seats. I have four of them. Um, I think I've had them six months now. Um, so basically just a little review for people that are thinking about getting them so like i said i got the tuscany um it's got the power recline power lumbar um the power headrest you might not be able to see it but basically the power headrest which is great because i mean i always have mine fully all the way up they they recline pretty far back for for like watching a movie not i wouldn't say for sleeping not like a lazy boy where you're almost vertical and you want to take a nap there's for me they're super comfortable they're they're a little bit firmer which i kind of like because my old sectional was so freaking soft that i'd sit in that and get about 20 minutes into a movie and i'd be out sleeping my wife's like that movie was really good you didn't watch any of it because you were asleep the whole time I'm like well it, it happens but yeah they're super comfortable Create. i mean six months doesn't sound like a long time but we sit in these every single day for a few hours like every night we watch them after work and after i go to the gym and wife does dinner and all her stuff and kids are in bed we sit down every night and watch a movie and you know she two main seats for us we sit in all the time she actually likes to sit over here more than here she's not big into the like perfect spot like these two seats sit definitely sound better than those two seats by no means whatsoever do these two seats sound bad at all but she likes to sit here she has her table and whatever that's just her spot so every day for six months sitting in these seats for a few hours a day um these two seats look no different than those two seats you you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell that these were set in all the time and these were never set in. You sit in these, they feel the same. These haven't like sagged or caved in or broke in, whatever you want to call it. They all feel the same, which is shocking to me that they hold up as well as they do. It's it's nice leather. It's, you know, easy to clean. I do condition it probably like, I don't know, every three months I use um, the stuff I use for my car. Ba basically, um, Adam's leather conditioner and cleaner which is the same stuff I use in both of my show cars. Um, great product. I'm not pushing atoms on anybody, but I'm just saying that's what I use for leather treatment. I mean, I would, anything leather, I would condition it. Maybe every three months is ridiculous. I might be a little, going a little overboard, being a little anal, but I'm really OCD with my stuff and like it clean. So I'm cleaning it all the time. I'm vacuuming the room all the time. But these seats are great. They're built really well. Um, I've had no issues. I mean, the, it came with the free tray tables. I haven't done any of the accessories or anything like a phone holder, or iPad holder, or wine glass holder, any of that. So I can't really speak on that stuff. But yeah, they're, they're, I highly recommend these. I mean, they're great seats. They're comfortable. I haven't had any issues with the mechanical stuff on it. I recline it all the time. I mean, I'm moving the headrest, doing the lumbar, reclining, you know, getting up and going, getting a drink or a snack or something like that a few times a day for you know six months straight no issues with the mechanicals or anything um the led cup holders and the lights underneath i do not use because for one if these are reclined i, I guess you could flip the lights if you wanted to but since i've gotten a projector <clears throat> i've grown to hate ambient light i want I, like i put up the power shades i want everything to be dark when i'm watching a movie now with the ust like i said i can do a review on it if you guys want 
when there's light coming into the room, it's still very watchable. But with any projector, the darker it can be, the better it looks. So I don't even know why I'm talking about that. But anyway, um, uh, because of the lights. So if these are reclined and you turn the lights on underneath for the you know the ambient LED effect or anything, mine don't have um mine aren't RGB, so I can't change the color. They're just blue. Everything looks like you're watching the Smurfs. The whole screen's blue. I mean, they're crazy bright. So as soon as the recline, as soon as the footrest goes up, the whole front wall is blue. So I never turn them on. And you can't turn. I guess it'd be my only gripe. Would I use them? Probably. If there was, I might try to figure out something I can do myself. Put my own switch in. You can't turn the LED cup holders on without the lights underneath being on. I mean, I'm actually thinking I'm just going to disconnect the. Um, let's call it underglow. Like you'd have on a car to show at night, you know, you turn it on, it's glowing underneath. Not my thing. I mean, it's cool if like you're having people over and you're getting ready to watch a movie and you turn the lights on and, you know, the lights are down and you're setting the mood or something and it's glowing. But as soon as we sit down and watch a movie, hit the button, turn it off because they're super freaking distracting. I mean, that's even all my equipment in my stand I built up front. I if Lights I can't turn off piece of electrical tape goes over everything i've gotten to the point now since i've actually done what some will say is not uh, a dedicated theater room and it is i mean because i can close it off with the shades push a button shades come down rooms closed off super dark in here and i've gotten to the point where i hate any kind of lights so i turn all the lights off I can't turn the lights off on my panamax power conditioner so i take one of the theater pillows and put it over that or Drives me insane. Um, but yeah, it was a seat review. And then I started talking about equipment and shades and all that. But I guess just the point, the seats work in the room. They're made extremely well. They're, I mean, I could sit here and watch a three-hour movie, no problem, and not get uncomfortable and, you know, squirm around and everything else. I can just stay locked in, concentrate on the movie, and be comfortable. But like I said, my only gripes with those lights, like, some people might like the lights. I mean, even if you had a TV and you had the footrest out, the lights are going to shine directly on your TV. So it's kind of like Valencia should have given the option that you can um, turn the cup holder on separately from the lights underneath. But it is what it is. I think I'm just going to disconnect those. And um, the only other thing these don't have is the memory function. Like I know the... They have so many brands, so I can't even, not brands. They have so many models, I can't keep up on them. I've only had these. I've watched videos on other ones, but these don't have the memory uh, seat button where you, you know, you push it like in your car, if you, like my car, you can do two settings on the seat. So you would just push it, get out of the car. And then when you pushed it and got back in it, the seat would go to wherever you'd like to keep it. These don't have that. So you do have to put your footrest out, adjust your headrest adjust your lumbar however you like it if you change it but i i never change it i'd pretty much leave the headrest where it is the lumbar where it is and all i have to do is put the footrest up and down so I, it wasn't really a selling point for me i'm basically just saying they do offer that like memory seat oh and it has the usb the like if you want to plug a cable in to charge your phone it has that they work fine um uh I, nothing else to really say about it Good seats, a good price. I mean, there are seats out there that cost way more. They're made really well. I mean, I took, I bought these seats off of um, Stephen, Stephen Smith's recommendation from Home Theater Gurus. I was messaging, private messaging them on Facebook Messenger when I was thinking about buying the seats. And he said, um, <clears throat> excuse me, he said, I have the Valencia Tuscany and I'm, they're awesome. You know, try them out. And he was right. I mean, I tried them out. Love them. They're fantastic for me. Um, so if anybody was curious, great seats, Valencia, Tuscany. Um, check them out. That's my seat review. Same day, same shirt, different angle. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, that's it for today. Everybody uh, have a great day. Peace.